Yeah, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pixel Pirate. I'm your host, Ripped Rick, and today we have a few things on our task list. To start, we're actually going to do what I had asked you guys last episode, which, by the way, I know that lucky block's there. Don't worry, we'll get to it this episode. Uh, I asked you guys to do a couple things for me, so uh, I want to do that first. I went ahead and made us some sticks so that we could go ahead and make a sign now uh, I asked for names of this this building, and as you can see, I probably should mention I remodeled a little bit. I gave us a walkway. Uh, everything that was built here, though, has been taken from uh, e either the ground, obviously, outside here, or uh, it's it's been, like, stripped out of here. So, like, that's why I have the glass middle floors instead of the... Um, the stone slabs like this uh, is because I went ahead and moved those, a lot of those stone slabs outside like this. So we have a nice walkway. Uh, I think it looks a lot more open now, and I, I like it a lot. But uh, back to what I was doing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and name this now. There were there were a few good, great names that you guys threw out there. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I really enjoyed a lot of them, but there, were, uh, there was one specifically that stood out to me, and it was suggested by two people, um, and it is the Pirate Palace, right? Um, we have video games. Gaga mentioning uh, Rift, Rick's uh, Rift Rick's Palace of Pirates, and then also uh, uh, Kripal Gosh, I think that's how you say it. Uh, or, or, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Rift Rick's Pirate Palace. So you guys both suggested Pirate Palace. Uh, I think we're just going to go with Pirate Palace. We don't need to claim it as mine. Uh, I think that should go, uh, you know, kind of unsaid. But I want to go ahead and add these people's names too here. Uh, so let me go ahead and punch those in, and then we'll, we'll get moving to the next thing. Oh, right, and there we go. I didn't I didn't do them in, like, a special order, so I don't want you to think, like, one person's better than the other. I just kind of did them in an order. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now, obviously, I want to give you guys a little tour of the place. I know I walked upstairs here for a second, um, but I basically made it so that this is a little bit different. Uh, it's a little bit more closed off so that we don't get killed. Uh, and then uh, I'll go ahead and take you even higher up, and obviously, you know, we have our windows up here. And then finally, oop. Wrong way. Uh, finally, there's one staircase up to the top uh, in these towers, it appears. And then I made it so that, obviously, uh, if you come to, like, these ones, you can look out now uh, and look, uh, look around like that. And then I also made it so that there's an emergency way down, you know, so if anybody's at the front door, then we can jump down and we can attack them there. Uh, let me go ahead and get out of here. Uh, let's go ahead and close this now. There you go, and we'll head upstairs and go to bed because the sun is setting. Now, I do have a few more things that I want to do this day, including um, naming our crab. Now, you guys did put together a lot of awesome names, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they, I mean, there were a lot of really good ones, but there was one that really, really stood out to me, uh, and it was done by... Cripple as well, you would be, if you could believe it or not. Now I am gonna put a little uh, like twist on it. Uh, he originally suggested the name Captain Hook for our crab, obviously because you know he's he's got he's got kind of hook like arms or yeah. And then there was also uh, Mr. Krabs was on there. Uh, we had we had a few few great ones. I'm not gonna lie, you guys did a really good job of suggesting stuff this time. But like I said, I think I want to give him a name that uh, that I come up with just so I remember to call him that. Uh, and I think I've come up with one so what i'm going to go ahead and do here is um first grab everything out of this area here because i went ahead and put them aside first now what i what i did is i know i didn't have enough uh iron for an anvil so what i did is i i went ahead and got a rid of all those iron swords and then i got rid of some of my iron that i had found and i got rid of some of the buckets that i had found uh to equal the the amount of iron that it would take to make an anvil now hopefully uh our boat is will be buoyant enough to hold this i think i would like this on here with this uh, at all times so now we have an anvil there and then as well as uh i i Broke down this chest so that we can put it on the back of our boat so we'll have it when we're traveling. Now, obviously, our boat is out of commission right now because our sails are down. So uh, we can't really travel anywhere today, but that's not a big deal. I'm sure we'll, we'll work on getting back to sailing here very soon. Uh, let's go ahead and... I put in our name tag though now captain hook was the suggestion but like i said i wanted to go ahead and put a twist on it so i'm gonna go ahead and make it captain i'm gonna double check that i spelled that right so we don't have a problem here yes i spelled it right good good to know i'm happy that i got it right the first time and then i'm gonna go ahead and put the second part of his name captain ready claw I think that is a really cool name. Uh, it's very piratey, and I think it fits him very well. So let's go ahead and, and oop, 
can we can we name him? Wait, what? Dude, dude. Please. How he won't be named. Like I can't name him. Take this. I'm like I'm right clicking it on him and uh and he's not taking it. No. Hmm. After fiddling fiddling around a little bit, you guys, it looks like we can't name him yet. Uh, I, I looked uh, I looked around on the forum post and everything, and it, yeah, it just looks like we can't do it yet. But we will keep it here in the corner, so first of all, we don't forget his name. And second of all, hopefully if it ever gets implemented, we can go ahead and add his name. And we'll call him Captain Claw from now on. Uh, there's I, I don't really think there's anything else that I had preset for us to do as far as uh, adding the boat. We did that. Yes, we did that. Okay, yeah. And now we're on to the next step, which I know what it is. Uh, we are going to actually take out some of this gunpowder. We're going to make ourselves a shovel here. Um, because remember we spotted off some castles uh, off in the distance too and I think I think we should go ahead and try to breach in see that guy right there it looked like a really big castle now I was told that you could make NPCs uh, down in the comment section below by keg greenhouse now that's really helpful uh, but I, I think I need to make food packs for it I don't know I have to look into like which ones are most efficient and which one will help fight for us and what they can help us with and stuff like that uh, because if re if rebuilding a crew is an option I would really like to explore that I think that is a very very cool idea and I would like to thank you very much for giving me the suggestion now let's go ahead and I believe it's this pattern I always get it backwards though so we'll have to see please be right oh no Oh, are you serious? I always get it backwards. Okay, so it's this way then. Uh, I don't know, man. It just seems like TNT is so expensive. There we go. Okay, so we have one piece of TNT. Now, how are we going to light it? Um, I have cobble, right? Please? I don't even have cobble on me? That's ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to have to just make a button then button i think we might have had a button somewhere else oh by the way if you didn't notice uh, i have a ton of crab crab legs on me while i was renovating this place uh captain claw went ahead and dropped a ton of them for us like the whole time i was working on it i would see him just drop a few off see just like that and uh and i have an abundance of them now i'll go ahead and show you the uses once again because i know i've covered them before but i'll, I'll show them again we can make our regular fishing nets and we can also make this fish fish net now the fish net is really cool. Apparently it catches like fish underwater and then you automatically catch them and you can cook them right away, the manta rays and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be working up towards, but we need to kill a bunch of sharks for that and we have not run into any shark teeth yet. We have run into sharks and we ran into sharks last episode, but this episode, uh, I don't know that we'll be able to go out and find them because our boat's kind of out of repair. Now, let's go ahead and, uh, first of all, uh, this chest is empty, I know that for a fact. We'll go ahead and dump everything in there, um, just for now, so that we can go... Uh, is there a way, like, I can, I can make him stay? Can you stay there for me? I don't want you to die, buddy. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go open that lucky block. Wait, what? I thought... Oh, wait, oh, yeah, the, this lever's constantly giving power, that's a problem. Uh, maybe we'll just get rid of the lever, because the lever's been causing nothing but problems. Oh, I did have redstone! Oh, cool, okay. Anyway, so, yeah, now we'll just, we'll just use the buttons... You know, so that uh, it's it's one hit use, and then we'll keep doing it. So now let's go ahead and open up this lucky lock. Now we're hoping we're hoping for a few things. We're hoping for wool in order to get our our ship back up and running. Um, we're hoping something that won't destroy our newly found pirate's palace, and we're hoping for something maybe to gear us up and go over and fight those guys over there. So let's go ahead and open up this lucky block. What is this? I don't know what that is, but it's scary. Oh man, you guys, it seems like a luck has hit us again. Let's go ahead and grab our, um... See, look, he constantly drops crab legs. It's ridiculous. Can we eat these? Is there right? Re... Oh no, I already clicked recipes. I wish you could cook them and have cooked crab legs. Let's go ahead and open this up. And then drop these guys in here with this. Um, well, let's just take it all back again. And then we'll put everything in our hot bar that we need. Oop, my bad. Uh, there we go. And then we can actually... Dump off some of the signs and stuff because, you know, you don't really need that kind of crap. Oh, oh, you know, we'll take this lever. The lever is probably going to be a lot easier to use with the TNT. Now, I don't know. Some randomly generated structures uh, sometimes have bedrock in them so that, you know, you can't blow a hole in the side and then attack that way. But let's hope that this is not the case for uh, for this one. I'm, I'm sure we'll find out here in a minute, but let's go ahead and grab this diamond as well. So now we have two diamond blocks on us on this adventure. I mean, how fortunate, right? We are just 
super lucky. I don't know what we're going to use all these diamonds for. Um, maybe we can build a set of armor out of them. What do we have? We have 18, need 24 full full set. So we're not quite there yet, but wow, we are almost there. Uh, and, and we'll get it all enchanted and stuff, obviously, further down the road as well. Let's go ahead and eat up. Now... We are going to go on an adventure to, first of all, scout that castle. Uh, we should probably close our front door because we don't want anybody breaking into the castle or the palace. Uh, I'm trying to look for the sun. The sun looks like it's going down. Now, uh, what I'll do is I'll wait out the night and then we'll go first thing in the morning so that we can surprise them. You know what I mean? Uh, the best time to attack is, is early in the morning so, uh, when everybody's waking up. So hopefully they, they won't be able to spot us because their eyes are too groggy for that. Let's go ahead and head upstairs and I'll be back in a second. All right, and there we are, you guys, morning once again. Now, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, I was thinking, before, like, while well, I was waiting for a night to actually fall, uh, that we may want to make some arrows. Now, uh, it doesn't look like we have any flint on us, though. Hmm, that's a bummer. Okay, yeah, because I was thinking, you know, that we could probably harass them a little bit with, um, with, with some cover fire, but we'll go ahead and move in anyway. Now, I don't know why... Captain Claw refuses to stay where he need where where I want him to stay. I don't know if there's a way to make him do that. I'll have to read that on the forum post as well, uh, further down the road. But let's go ahead and spout, scout these guys now. We'll keep our eye out for other structures, obviously, because uh, it seems like a lot of them are spawning because of the mods that we have installed. Now it looks like this palace is a little bit bigger, so I. I, I want you guys to start pondering names because we will own this castle. We are going to own this. But but like I said, we, we need to take our time on it. Now, I'm not seeing any NPCs spawn in yet. So we can keep getting... There they are. Okay. So here's the idea, right? If they see me, they're going to jump down. I think. They're archers, so they may keep their distance. Hmm. Maybe, maybe... I got it, I got it. What? We'll, we'll, let's go look at the front door and see what we can uh, assess from over there. We'll keep our distance though, so hopefully they don't spot us out here in the uh, in the desert. We'll keep behind hills as well. If they if those guys are archers, they're really bad archers, by the way, because they should have they should have totally noticed us. Looks like they have a mouse infestation out here as well. Maybe we should check our uh, our palace for rodents. Because I don't want them in there. Oh, and there's another one of those structures that we had run into yesterday. Oh man. This, this is, ooh, could you imagine if we connected these roads and we called all of this like part of our kingdom? Oh, we should totally grab each one of these. Oh, and it looks like, wait, wait, out of the corner of my eye, if I look like this, look under my mini-map right now. This looks like there's a village right there as well. Um, we'll go ahead and explore that here in a second. I just wanted to see this, this place's front door and stuff. Like I said, I don't know what it all entails. Um, okay, so it looks like there's three archers on the front, and there's some men down on the base you see him swimming down there so i don't know what we're going to want to do yet let's go ahead and move to the other side here and then we're going to also look at the back side but i want to check out this village too that's why we're kind of headed this way uh, we're going to look at the back of this base and then we're going to we're going to head over to the village um because if the back of the base is not protected we're going to we're going to lay down this tnt and, and hopefully scare them a little bit to uh thinking that that there's going to be a siege today and then they'll be on their toes for a while, and then we'll leave them alone, right? And if we leave them alone, then they'll go crazy, and they'll start fighting, and then hopefully it will be an easier target. Okay, so it looks like that guy's not looking the right way right now. What we'll do is hopefully, hopefully this works, uh, we'll, we'll eat up, and then what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to stay tight to the wall, right? We're going to stay tight to the wall so that they can't, so they have to look like straight down in order to see us, right? So we're going to come down here like this. Right, and I, I think... Well, it looks good. This looks pretty good. Ready? No, don't go over there! Captain Claw, get away, get away! Okay, okay. It looks like we've unveiled some sort of redstone contraption. And it looks like it is alerted to the archers. Okay, we gotta get out of here, you guys. Uh, we'll definitely go back and check that out. There's some, some sort of... What is that down there? It's, it's like... It's like mossy cobblestone or something. Okay, we're gonna get away. We're gonna we're gonna escape to the village and hide amongst the villagers. Let's go, Captain Claw, before they notice us, man. You coming? Let's go. Oh, we should scuttle away on Captain Claw. Come on, Captain Claw, what are you doing? Come on, dude. You're way too slow for us. This is driving me crazy. Run, you gotta run, man. Okay. Oh, look, and there's even more stuff. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. 
Wow. Okay, let's let's go ahead and look at look. Let's go ahead and and see if there's anything we can borrow from this village. I'm saying that because we're in earshot. Okay, let's go ahead and and just. Oh wow! I'm so sorry. I just sneezed and yeah. Hi. Do you, what do you offer? Okay. Good day, sirs. Okay, some Tinker's Construct stuff. Yes. And they have a lot of Tinker's Construct in here. Um, let's see if they have any good stencils that I can want. Oh, they have they have some full guard patterns, which may become useful in the future. That guy had a lot of patterns, though. Um, let's go ahead and protect these guys at night by... Yeah, go ahead. Go in. Go inside. No, go inside. Go inside. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Okay, now we got more in there. Look, see, like I said, they just drop crab legs all the time. Uh, let's go ahead and check these guys as well. Uh, just some more some more random patterns, but that's all right. Like I said, we're we're kind of we're kind of we trapped them. I mean, we we protected them in there um, because we don't want to lose them. Uh, you never know when when a good trade may come up, especially among these villagers. Um, like that is a terrible trade, but I'm sure I'm sure there'll be a good example eventually here. There's another smeltery base, and so if we really wanted to set up another smeltery over at the palace, I guess we could. That, that would be something maybe that we might want to do. Uh, we're not completely relocating, though. I don't want to completely relocate. Like, I like our other house. Um, I'm just, I, you know, I'm just trying to get us out into seeing the world. We really shouldn't be attached to any places, so maybe we'll make a trip back there and assess what we want to take with us back over here. Um... And move on. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Do you think we should like continuously move and then slowly build back our ship and, and eventually get our ship up to a huge size and then just use that as our home as we travel the seas? Or do you want me to like kind of keep different bases all around the world? I would love to hear uh, what you guys honestly think about that because uh, I, I know what I would like to do obviously but uh, this series is not about me. This series is about getting you guys the fans and that's why I'm starting to incorporate and ask you guys a lot more questions about things and, and what you guys would like to see in the episodes uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode though obviously i'm running back uh those guys look kind of pissed uh if you enjoyed this episode please remember to hit that like button if you're new to the channel don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button remember i do live stream over on twitch uh just play uh some random games if you want to come chill i'd love to see you guys out there and i hope you all have a great day